Hello and welcome to their first impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. It's here taking a look at a free-to-play browser-based game called God's Rule. And this is a browser-based strategy game, something normally we would just put up on the website with just screenshots. But, strangely enough, this one's got a little RTS involved in it. This is the intro battle, just kind of showing how it works. Very basic right here. But there is some real-time elements, so I did want to show a little bit of the gameplay. So these are the battle areas. There is a turn-based strategy style, the same kind of style you expect from most browser-based strategy games for a building, summoning army, all that kind of stuff, but here is the action. This is where the fighting happens. And with it being a the tutorial mission, it's going to be slow-paced. Let's go and get out of this and get into something I can actually control. Alright, here we go. We're in my village. You can see I have a lot of area that's kind of overgrown and run down. I gotta clear it up a little bit. For now though, I'm summoning some units. There we got a little more variety of guys I can use in battle now. And then for achievements, you have certain things you can complete and when you do you complete these achievements or objectives and you get bonuses. Keep in mind though, they are progression-based. If you get a certain population, some of the older ones won't work, so make sure you're checking it often. So now I've got a few more guys to get into combat. This time I'll actually control the combat. I won't have the AI doing it for me. Or being paused constantly while the tutorial tells me what I'm doing. There is a loading screen, and this is, I believe, a flash game, so there is you can't right-click anything like that. It's not like some other browser plugins. And this is not a download, you just play it right in your browser. It's played in Firefox. So it's not even a Chrome app or anything. Nice and easy. So you have these little spawning areas. You have to get off them. You can't summon a new guy while you're on the spawning area. You also have spawning points and an objective. You see the little blue bar, or the blue bar top middle? When that fills up for one side, that side wins. You can move it up by going over towards the center. Other things that exist in this little map right here is there are circles, the yellow ones. If you stand on them, you'll get extra summoning. You can summon extra guys. Boxes, kind of like Worms boxes where you get extra bonuses. You can see a circle of areas that my guy can influence. I, I got the dog. He's uh, pretty much my big guy, but he takes the most summoning to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go stand on the circle. So now I can get another guy in play. And I'm going to start working on just getting that. Up until now, all of the missions were really fast. This is actually the first one that takes a little bit of effort and time. So I thought, hey, I'll just go stand on this objective and win, but it took a little longer than that. And because everyone's dead and I control everything, occasionally I will just randomly spawn a another guy. And right now the AI is controlling him for some reason. There we go, he's on that, so I can summon oh. He got a box he got a box for me, so he got a bonus. Now if I can control them, I can get them on that summoning area, and then I can get another guy in play, that'll help. All of the different guys will give you more points towards victory. So the more guys you have in play, the faster it'll tick down. You can see the blue bar starting to fill up a little bit. Now imagine the fun if this is against another player. This could be a pretty interesting RTS where we're trying to both control points while trying to get victory points and trying to summon guys, kill each other. It's not going to be a StarCraft 2, obviously, but could be quite a bit of strategy involved. So I'm going to have my other wolf. That one right there must have got an item because he's getting a lot more victory points than the other wolf was. So I'm going to have him stand in the circle, and then I'm going to bring everyone else pretty much right here. Once I max out all the guys I can get, then I'm going to bring everyone into the middle. By default, when you get a new guy, they are selected. If you click on them again, then they become unselected. This guy has a bit of a range. That's why they have a huge radius. They are just about full. I've summoned everyone I can summon, and there's our victory! You get XP, so there is a level system in the game. It's leveled up. And apparently the god from God's Rule seems to be happy with me. 
So these are the different tasks. You can take uh, completed ones. You gotta go check the completed ones occasionally. They'll give you bonuses. Pretty much for the most part, this portion of the game is similar to other browser-based strategy games. You have a layout. You can move buildings. You can upgrade buildings. You can also summon units with the barracks. You can clear away area. To clear away an area, you have to clear it away. And then you'll probably have rocks, and you have to send your guys to go and clear the rocks out. So for the most part, it's a fairly straightforward and stereotypical st strategy-based game, but the RTS elements do give it a kind of an interesting twist. It's called God's Rule. It's available for free. It's a browser-based game. Check it out. Like the content. Stay tuned to more from MO Play. Thanks for watching. Ooh, there's even speed-ups.